this all hasn't been a waste because these people are fascinating, you know. I mean, they think you're just a dumb, stupid little colored boy and you're trying to get a few dollars and they're going to use you as a joke. And it gets to be a joke sometimes as to who's using who, you know. So I figure as long as they pay enough, you know, whatever they say, do, I'll do. But some of them are pretty ridiculous. Like, I walked, worked for one once a tall, lanky, sad-looking blonde from Alabama. And all she claimed that her father had been head of... Uh, city stores or something like that. And she had a southern accent, and she was being kept by a very nice cat who owned a big business downtown. And she'd enter the room. This woman was so crazy. <laughs> she had a dress with lampshades made like the dress and draperies, and it was plaid taffeta. And it was a one-room apartment on East 64th Street. And she was always dashing madly, you know. And I'd be in the house doing nothing, you know, like sitting on my behind, reading the magazine, or eating up all the lobster, or eating up all the snails. And the minute I hear her coming, I'd get busy. And she'd enter and say, Jason, has Edgar been here? <laughs> Fix me some of my chicken. <laughs> they always want chicken, you know, because they know all colored folks know how to fix chicken. I'll be in the kitchen frying my ass off, you know. Yes, Miss Howard. I could, she hadn't been married in 20 years. We're still calling her Mrs., you know. And this man is like, boom, boom, boom. So then one day she said to me, um, Jason, she said, we're going to have a little party. And I was in the kitchen doing all the work. And I said, oh, no. I said, Miss Howard, I don't want to come out and talk with the guests. You always say that, you know. But you know, you probably got all the guests' phone numbers. <laughs> you tell them, no, you don't want to really mix, because, you know, you're there at work. Oh, they say, come on out. She said, well, it's Halloween. She said, you won't hurt anything. She said, you'll be just another spook. You know, I looked at this bitch and I smiled. I said, yes, I'll be right out. Then I came out, and um, I had my drink, you know. Then you take your humble position back again. And then uh, one of them said to me once, you know, she said, Jason, I never really much liked niggas, you know, and you're the first one I ever really cared for. And I said, oh, that's very sweet of you. I said, well, then I should have this position a long time. Oh, and I go back in the kitchen. I said, well, she drowned dead. <laughs> you know?